Hey, welcome Groovers, how you doing? It's Liam here with another Facebook Live and this week is going to be the start of 14 days. Yes, I can't wait. Uh, interesting point of view, I have that point of view. When I said that I can't wait, I just went into a predictive reality of having to do a Facebook Live every day for 14 days and I went, oh my God, I really don't want to do that. How many of you guys are in that position where you like go, yeah, I'm going to do this and then, oh, this thought, this idea comes up. I don't, really don't want to do that. And um, that's when you can use interesting point of view. And it's exactly what I did. Interesting point of view. I had that point of view. Hi, everybody that's just joined. Um, that. Uh, I just had that point of view that I don't want to do this for 14 days. So, how do we use interesting point of view? Well, there's going to be a few people uh, on this uh, on this first one. So, I'm just going to go through some basics of the tool interesting point of view. It's a tool from Gary Douglas from Access Consciousness. And one of the cool things about this is you don't need to know how it works. All you need to know that it works. And the more that you practice it or engage in it or use it to your advantage to create more ease and joy in your life, the more it becomes part of you and you start to lower your barriers and start to see uh, uh, points of view from uh, everybody's points of view without any charge. And this is what interesting point of view is all about. It's about getting to that space of total allowance of your point of view and everybody else's point of view without having to defend your point of view or defend against another point of view. Hi Lucia. And so let's just take a let's take just take a quick brief look. From your point of view, I'm sitting in this chair and there's a window behind me, you can see a door handle, you can see a mirror and a chair behind me and you can see a wall behind me and you can see my face and that's your point of view but we all know that if you were somewhere else in the room there would be a totally different point of view so if if we uh, turn around this way we get to see the Japanese style uh, room dividers we get to see a couple of pictures you still get to see my ugly mutt how does it get any better than that and if we put it over here you're now upside down and you can see the back of my head that's another interesting point of view Okay, so what we do is, uh, when we are willing to see all points of view, no point of view becomes greater than any other. And what it actually does, it allows you to receive different possibilities. And this is so cool. Hi, Celine. And um, it's so cool because what happens is that you become more and more an allowance and things don't affect you as much and you can create and generate. Thank you for the love heart and the thumbs up. More of those, please. My poor voice needs it. Interesting point of view. So have you noticed that I just said that? I need more thumbs up. I need more hearts. And when we go into the that word need, it's often really needy and there's a lot of energy attached to it and all of that sort of stuff. And we deal with people and ourselves like that all of the time. Now, if you bring that tool, interesting point of view, I have that point of view that this person is needy. Or interesting point of view, um, I am needy. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view about me. What you'll start to do is you'll start to have different points of view and you go, oh, well, really, is that really my neediness? Is that somebody else's neediness? And you'll start to be able to become more in allowance of every point of view that is on the frigging planet. Um, now, that's basically how the tool works. And over the next 14 days, I'm going to choose different bits and pieces about how to use the tool in different circumstances. Now, as you all know, uh, well, if you don't, no, you're going to know now. I've just created this club called the 100K Club. And what it's designed to do is to create an extra $100,000 in your reality within 60 to 90 days. And I've been doing, we're going to, we're going to actually start that in about a week's time. But um, I've been doing some research and uh, I went onto the Access website. Uh, hey, yeah, how does it get any better than this? And I found a really great article there from Simona Molasses about um, budgeting. And it's, um, 
an article that was on Huffing, Huffington Post, and they and so I went to the URL, checked it out, read the article, but there was also a video there called Money, and oh my God, it was so interesting because it was all about facts and figures. And every, no, well, not every, but uh, that's an interesting point of view. Nearly all of them, say, let's say 80 to 90% of them were just an interesting point of view. And I'm going to use this one particular one. It said that 58% of all millionaires um, started when they were 15. Now, if you're 50 and you ain't got a million dollars yet, uh, what that means is we often come to a conclusion that, uh, oh my God, I missed the boat. But if we look at it from an interesting point of view, you can see a different point of view. If 53% uh, started when they were 15, that means there were 47% other millionaires that started at some other age. Now that could have been earlier and it can be a lot later. And if you look at uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know, the Colonel, he didn't make his first million until he was 83 years old. So um, it's all an interesting point of view. How many of you guys, when you see a fact or a figure or something that is touted as true and buy it as real so you can't actually step in to the potency and power you truly be because you've bought the point of view that you have to have started creating your million dollars when you were 15. Now, that's a time to use interesting point of view, interesting point of view, interesting point of view, interesting point of view. If you can get it out three or four times in your head, what actually happens is that you start to um, lose the charge around like the conclusion that, oh, there's no way I can ever do it because now I'm 50 and, you know, like I've lost all that time and I'm getting older now and I haven't got as much energy and conclusion, conclusion, conclusion. Interesting point of view will start to cut off that conclusionary reality. How many of you... Come on, own up. How many of you are conclusion kings or queens? Put your hand up. I'm not one, of course. Um, that's my alter ego that's saying yes, because I'm not one, really. Yeah, how many of you are actually conclusion kings or queens? If you are, if you go into that sort of like, this means that you're a conclusionist. Now, there's nothing wrong with it. The problem is with a conclusionist is that... What you're creating is not real and true because you're basing it on a conclusion, not on an interesting point of view. Yes, exactly, Ruth. I never thought that you ever did that. <laughs> As she winks. Um, so interesting point of view is going to get you out of buying other people's points of view and believing in the conclusions that you are creating. How friggin' cool is that? So... What are we going to do over the next 14 days? Well, this is my challenge to you, is to get onto this Facebook Live or watch the recording every day because I'm going to give you a little extra tip. And let's make a uh, commitment to ourselves right now that we're going to do interesting point of view. I have that point of view about whatever the point of view that shows up um, whenever, whenever you remember. Now, the thing is, if you forget... Don't beat yourself up because that's not going to help at all. Just when you start going, oh, I've forgotten to do that at all. Interesting point of view that I've forgotten. Interesting point of view that I've forgotten. Interesting point of view I've forgotten. And you step right back into that tool again. How cool is that? Every time that you go into the wrongness and you step into the tool, you change the wrongness. You change the conclusion. Yeah. What is this going to create? I wonder. So, are you ready? Let's do, a, let's do a clearing. Everything that doesn't allow you to be an interesting point of view of all point of views that are thrown at you over the next 14 days. Can we now recant, rescind, revoke, reclaim, renounce, destroy and uncreate it times a gazillion. 
Good and bad, right, wrong, pop, pop, corn, eye, shut, boys and girls. And if you're new to this crazy stuff called, no, it's not really crazy. It's if you're, it's weird, wild and wacky. If you're new to this stuff called access consciousness, check out the www.theclearingstatement.com and you'll know what I've just said. It's just a way to clear stuff so you can have interesting point of view. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to go now because I've got dinner on the go, and I don't want to. I don't want to burn it. Oh, that's an interesting point of view. Interesting point of view. I'm going to burn the dinner, Liam. Interesting point of view. Interesting point of view. One, two, three. Bye. Finish.